you're still not subscribed to Kicks and Tricks, man, you don't know what you're missing. You know, a lot of people are subscribed, or some people don't want to subscribe, or don't know how to subscribe. But let me show you. Make sure you stroll over to the Kicks and Tricks page where you see all the latest information on all the latest episodes. The reason why you're missing out on all the free stuff because you're not subscribed and the notification bell is not on. Make sure you turn that thing on and you are good to go. Also, don't forget, when you go to the Kicks and Tricks page, go to the channels, man. We got other um, shows that's actually moving from the partition. And we have the King's Lounge, which is our newest prize. Shout out to Booker and their success over there at the King's Lounge. Until then, thank you and have a nice day. Back to Kicks and Tricks. It's your boy T. Carter. This is your boy LaRon. So, today we're going to be talking about people always requesting this some of the worst Air Jordan sneakers that actually came out after the Jordan uh, 14. 14. After the 14, it's a lot of worst ones that people hate yeah. and they do not like and they always talk about it. Man, after, <laughs> after 14, I didn't, I didn't wear Jordans after that. And the thing after the 14, I wasn't even worried about it. I don't own no pals. And it's only on a, a, a few power 14s. Yep. They only like certain ones of those. And, you know, a lot of people, they the 14s was the 14 and the 15s and the 16s and the, and the space boots that come out of it and the ones that try to make them look like Harachis. They all didn't – I guess they didn't put no effort into making the shoe because I guess Mike wasn't in the game. Yeah, Mike wasn't in the game, and after that, you know, I don't consider those retro. Yeah, they, they're, they're not retro. They yeah. barely even – Bring them back. Then they brought them back, and they was all in what? Uh, in packs. That's right. When they released those others, they put them in packs so people would actually get them. Yep, and they'll make you get the good one out of the pack, and yeah. the other one that you really yeah. didn't even want. But don't get me wrong, a lot of people like those shoes. Yep. I got a lot, lot of people of I know that's fans of the 15, 16, 17. I can't do it. Well, if we're going to start it off, we're going to start it off right. 2002. That was a good year. You know what remind me of? One of my favorite movies. What's that? Guess what movie? Okay, I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a good, a good, 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 good answer. It starred. This movie starred. One of our own Houston artists was played in this movie. 2002. You gotta know this. 2002. One of our own Houston artists. Yep, Houston artists. Was it was it a real movie or a bootleg movie? Oh no, it was a real movie. It, it was a, it, it was actually a box office hit. If you don't know, I can tell you. I don't know. Solid gold, gold member, member Austin Powers, oh, Beyonce. Powell, Beyonce. Okay. Yes. Hey man, I'm old, brother. I don't know. That's, that's that's a long time ago, man. A long time ago. In 2002, that was like a that was like a real good year because you know he had a lot of uh, box office. Oh, and yeah, matter of fact, they had a lot of hits. Let me say that's a long time ago, bro. That also was the debut of the very first Spider-Man movie that started it all. That that Spider-Man. I can't lie, I'm not, I wasn't into Spider-Man and all that like that. You know, I watched them now, mm -hmm. but back then I wasn't into all that, man. If it wasn't no gangster movie or something, I wasn't watching it. It had to have some action into it. I went with the comics and all that back then. Well, you you know, speaking of, of Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man, well, as they progressed with, with Marvel, you know, back then, Marvel was struggling. Mm -hmm. um, the person that saved Marvel was actually no other than your boy, Nino Brown. Your Nino. Yeah, he actually saved Marvel because the, nobody was, DC was dominating the box office. Wesley Snipes is the reason why Marvel has what they have today right now with the Blade series yeah. that actually um, came in too. But 
Later on, they end up doing the um, Spider Man. Remember the Spider Man Jordan ones? We talked about yeah. that on season yeah, I one. I remember that shoe. That was when they actually brung that Jordan tennis shoe into the universe. But speaking of Jordan, um, 15s and 16s, I personally had a pair for my son in the Jordan 15. It was like a navy blue with a little white on it or something like that. I, know what you're I remember that having that material. one. That punch yeah. material across the side. Mm hmm. I re remember having that one. I actually, I I wanted to get the that Jordan with the patent leather. You can take the little strap off yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah. The black, that one was a, a, a real good shoe that I actually, I'm not going to say I would wear it. I would just, if I had a chance to pick another Jordan after the ones that he played in, them the only ones that I would pretty much actually pick. I wouldn't pick no more because the rest of them, they yeah, pretty a lot much of them, they, A lot of them, you know, they were garbage, but like if you had a smaller foot, mm -hmm. you can kind of pull them off. That's right. But if you weren't playing basketball on a team or something, you just pulling those out to put on, nah, you can't. That was a no-go. I also wanted to say this, and I I, I wasn't, I wanted to, I didn't want to bring this up, but I'm going to bring this up because it actually bothered me. I had a, a, a fan reach out to me and ask me a question and sent me a link. Do you know there are people around that actually has a Kicks and Tricks website where they selling shoes and they had a kicks and tricks convention. What? That is not us. I'm letting y'all know straight up. I'm not lying. I was gonna tell you, but I waited to save for the show. Somebody here. actually, the guy got on there and said they had a kicks and tricks sneaker convention. I am not lying. I that blew me for a loop, and I told the guy, kicks and tricks do not have a website. We do not sell tennis shoes. So whoever y'all giving y'all money to I'm is playing y'all. Somebody investigate on that too. Yeah, man. I, somebody reached out to me, that's bro. That's a bad look. Yeah, yeah, they, I, I didn't, I didn't really like it. And then they was kind of slick. They spelled the kicks and tricks with an S instead of a Z. And with instead of a Z, because due to you know copyright, we have that, so they yep. they couldn't do that. And then they also did the tennis shoe kicks with an S and put the N and tricks with an S. So, and, uh, yeah, so that's like misleading the fans, making them think. So now we're going to put on a uh, for our show airs. Yeah. We gotta put some disclaimer on that. Let them know that's not us. Yeah, yeah, cause I don't, I don't want nobody. Cause the, the guy actually reached out to me, upset, said he paid us for some tennis shoes. He never received he them. Pay, he paid us. Yeah, he said kicks oh, and tricks. Man. So when he sent me the, the thing and I looked at it, I say I'm sorry. That's that's not us. But if if you want to, and I was actually nice enough. It's just so happened the guy wears a seven and a half and a Travis Scott six. I had a seven and a half. I personally sent that guy that shoe for free. And told him, hey, man, kicks and tricks. But he did buy a shirt. He told me that he didn't mind buying a shirt. Yeah, man, it, it, I saw it, man. It it, it, it um, blew me away, man. I, I, it actually really, 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 like, kind of, like, upset me when I saw it. I was you like, man. You can't do nothing nowadays without somebody trying to piggyback and, and bootleg off of you, take your name wrong with it, change a couple of letters on it. Kicks and tricks, brother. I told y'all, I, I, wow. I, 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 I wouldn't lie to you, man. You got to get a screenshot. Yeah, we, we got to get you a screenshot of this, Kato, where you actually see it. But yeah, that, that was actually... Okay, well, um, I'm going to be in the comments on that stuff. Yes, it, it, that, that was kind of um messed up. And then when the guy had told me, I was yeah, like... He said where they located? One of them, he said they had a sneaker convention in New York. So I was that like... The same one, uh, we talked about the time before. Another guy was up there at the convention. And a uh, dude was looking somebody he was with kicks and tricks trying to sell shoes. That, that 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 that's him. It, it, wow. it, I forgot what what the guy name was, but he needs to specify that he is not the kicks yeah, he's and not tricks. Not with us, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get some merch with our face on, as people know us up, cause that's that's not what's happening. Yep, yeah, and they and they also uh, have a. They on the ground. No, they they, oh. they 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 not on the ground. They they they, they slick, but but the but the guy he actually uh he but what he did is it wasn't cool. I like I said I I, I didn't like it cause I I knew. That how we do our show and how we keep it real with the fans, we don't we don't do that type of stuff. But back to the Jordan's tennis shoe. What do we have here? Oh, this right here, that's an exclusive right there. That's an exclusive Jordan Six. I'ma call it the the Georgetown okay. Warrior Six. Because they they did some ones not too long ago mm -hmm. in the same colorway. Didn't if I'm not mistaken, didn't AI play for um Ella Iverson right, play for yes. Georgetown? Yes. That'll be a perfect with, with an yeah, AI yeah. jersey. You had, um, what's his name, man? I can't. He played with the Knicks. Uh, Patrick Ewan. 
Show did. Patrick Ewing, he did play. Yeah, Georgetown. Yeah, Georgetown, you know, it's, it's a known basketball school. That colorway is sick. Yeah, that Hoya, that Hoya, man. That, that gray. That gray on that, that blue, man. You can't go wrong with that, man. That's... One thing I did like about it that you brought to my attention on the white and red um, Oreos. It's the icy. Like you said, the they blue, the they bringing it back. Bottle. Yeah, the blue ice bottle. That that's that bottom. Yeah. Do this make the shoe last a, a little bit longer? It, make it, like, it, it keeps it a little longer blue from turning yellow than when they do the clear bottom and all that. And the suede on here. Oh, that's, yeah, that's that good suede right there. That's not new buck. That's not new buck. So you can see it changing color when you swipe. Okay, so this is the, so they, Nike is starting to pay attention. They listening to yeah, us. That's a new way. I like how they put the, the gray inside too. Yes. Because usually they come that. back and they do the inside white. Yes, and they, they got it straight gray. And it look I can look I see like re reflective. Yeah, you got the reflective in three M like the infrared. Oh wow. You got the three M inside on, on the holes. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a nice shoe. This this has the same type of suede that's on the Jimmy Butler sixes. I remember them. I didn't get them. Yeah, I got those in the stash. Never worn. And I like this gray right here. Yeah, they, they did a nice job on the shoe. Yeah, this is the, well put together. I actually like this better than the white and blue sixes we showed in a few episodes yeah. back. I See, actually like yeah, this, this, like this the better is, gray. I say this here is a nice shoe, but personally, when they put to release this, is it, is it like I think it's fall? I think it's September, last yeah. time I checked. I was going to say, because with that suede on that, that's got to be a fall shoe. Okay. Because like I say, it's, it's nice for in the summertime, but your feet going to sweat. Yep. And then if you just spill some on this. Oh, yeah, you spill some on this, it's a wrap. It's a done deal. That's it. It's a done deal, and you're going to be looking crazy crying because, hey, it's, it's going to be a done deal. But overall, this is a nice shoe, and I'm pretty sure it got the different color strings to go with it. Yep, probably uh, do. I think it got the blue. I think it's, probably, I think it's a pair of blue and white, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But yeah, this, this is a nice shoe, man. Overall, I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to basically stock mine. I, 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 this is something I'm gonna pull out at like a, at a at a special event. Okay, well, me personally, I'm rocking and stocking mine because I didn't got to the point now. I started putting all my shoes out because I had an uh, issue the other day. I pulled some shoes out and had them on, and the glue came loose on them because oh, I man. hadn't worn them in so long. So yeah, I gotta start at least putting them out once or twice and at least wearing them. If I'm gonna went to the store and back, just gotcha. to put some pressure in the shoe. Because if not, like I said, you, you leave them in the box too long or sitting up too long. Dry right. They will dry right up. Yep. If you don't have temperature control. Okay. Well, let's go to the chair and see what we're rocking today. Let's go. All right. Welcome back to Chair Talk. Today, I'm just rocking. I'm just a plain Jane today. You know what I'm saying? Just got mm -hmm. a, a regular shirt on with the, the peanut butter and maroon foams. I wanted those. I, I wanted them bad, and I want to get the other ones that was like that. That was the, it's like a pink colorway. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, I think it was the, like the breast cancer yeah, one. Yeah, breast cancer one, yeah. Yeah, I, I want them like, like real bad, but that was, a, that was a nice colorway. And what you rocking today? Well, first thing I, I, I'm going to say, I am rocking the new RWO shirt. Riker World Order. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know. This shirt, and I went to the gas station the other day after a nice day with the ride. The first thing the guy said is like, hey, man, where you get the NWO shirt from? I said, no, buddy. You better read that again. And he said, oh, man, he said, that's, that's, that's neat. I said, yeah, man, that's our, our group that we actually have, and we always ride. He said, I seen some guys ride the other day. I said, that was us. You, you, you saw us. It's this, we packs the threes. Speaking of um, riding, I'm rocking with this shirt. I'm rocking the Georgetown Sixes. I picked the Sixes because... I wanted to have something that's going to match the gray and the blue look close to black anyway. So that's actually good. But speaking of, of riding, how you like the, the ride that we just recently did? Oh, we, we, that was a nice little ride, man. I just, you know, we got to get some, like I said uh, previously, we got to get some uh, rider etiquette because <laughs> we got one of our riders. He's a little dangerous. Daredevil. Yeah, he's a daredevil. Hey, his name match him. Yeah, yeah, daredevil. And, uh, yeah. I don't like riding behind him. You know, he, 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 uh, you know, I didn't see too many close calls, so I just always pass him up and, and gone about my business, man. You know, I'm going to put him in the back. I can't let him get in the front because if he get in the, in, the, in the front and we behind him, I, I don't. It, it's gonna probably be a, a serious issue, man. But um, besides the, the the ride, what are you looking forward for this season? What shoe did you looking forward to actually putting your hand on? Oh man, uh, uh, that's a good one right there. Cause uh, 
Well, I know one shoe is that uh, the Jackie Robinson Dunk. Mm-hmm. With the 42 on the side. I got I gotta have that shoe just for, you know, Black History Jackie Robinson. Jordan 5, Concord. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, con, that Concord, yeah, that's going to be a nice shoe. Actually, I was told that it will actually be arriving this week. Yeah, then, then, Next then, episode, we're going to go White put me on games, but that ain't nothing but the, uh, the grape. I'm like, you sure right. You sure right. It's the grape without the turquoise. Just got the silver tone, the silver tone. purple, yeah, the thing yeah, on it. So, yep. but, yeah. but that's a must-have right there, man. That, that colorway, you know, that black, white, and, the, and the, like a... Like a sky's color blue, gum blue. Yeah, mm-hmm. I gotta have that shoe, man. With a, with a smash of purple on it. Yep, that's the, the, the next episode. And you know, we got the purple, the perfect shirt for that. That's that purple kicks and trick shirt. Yeah, that purple rain. Yeah, that purple rain. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We got got a nice little colorway. But like I say, man, on the shoes, man, we be so far ahead of the game. On we the still shoes, got stuff man. that we haven't even pulled out yet. We still yet. got some some hot heat coming for this episode. Mm-hmm. I still got some super exclusives that I haven't pulled out for our last season. Yeah. Some unreleased exclusives. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be crazy this season, man. Well, I I'm excited that we, that the the Riker show took off, kicks and tricks took off, chopping up was doing the Kings Lounge day season with with they show and and it's moving and stuff. But this season, some people ask, are we gonna um somebody asks, are we gonna do any type of sneaker, um restore like e- either like regluing or um. Cleaning the shoe. Yeah, I told him I don't know. We'll do some. Uh, we'll do a little. Uh, we'll do a deep clean on the shoe. Okay. Uh, the gluing. I don't really like doing the glue part. Okay. Uh, it's it's a lot of work when it comes to regluing the shoe. We'll have to get somebody to bring them on the show. Yeah, we got to bring somebody on that there. Uh, we got to get Nod on the show this this season. Okay, Nod, we coming for you. Yeah, we got to get him on the show, man. That boy do some qualified customs. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's a bad boy when it comes to the customs. Yeah, on the Houston scene and all the way around, they, they say he's proper the man. He is the yeah, man. Yeah, he's the man. We didn't even had uh, Nike then back door to post some of his, his, uh, his stuff, his stuff on, on, yep. their, on their pages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, he, he's cold with the customs. Okay, well, until next time. Rock it. Stock it. Or drop it. For your chance to win the latest kicks and much more. October 31st. I'm coming for you, boy. We are. Hold on, hold on one second. Thank you for choosing us, and I hope you enjoyed this latest episode of Kicks and Tricks. Once again, notification bell, easy and simple. Thumbs up. If you don't like it, no problem with a thumbs down. But no matter what, we are trying to strive to give you guys all the content you need. So like I tell, Richard, a.k.a. Kato, get the cameras out of my face. Yeah, man.